You know, things can be said about things, but sometimes meaning and meaningful is all things. Um, consider something about dating. You know, sometimes you get a bad apple, sometimes you get a good apple. You know, left to right, right to left. Sometimes opposites attract, sometimes they don't. But the feeling about it is, it would be nice for a hot woman to date a nerd. That would feel much better. That's opposites attract. That would be real nice. Because it might happen that a hot woman dates a, um, a nerd, but we don't know if the baby will be a genius or a jock or even a female athlete. You know, all these girls that really wanted to date is a guy with a washboard abs, but washboard abs and a Harvard Law degree. Nobody thinks that about they want to date football stars, baseball stars, basketball stars, soccer slash football stars. But, um, they don't want to date, they don't date geniuses, they don't date hardworking men, they don't date a lot of things. All they want is some is the chase some tail and really do what they have to do. But things like it is, um I don't have a girlfriend. I had one in two thousand five, but in two thousand but two months after she broke up with me. She has had a lot of problems. So that's one of the reasons she broke up with me. It wasn't my fault. Um, luckily, other things are in my mind right now is, um, why does the Boston Red Sox have a problem? They do because they're not eating their fried chicken. If you let them have their fried chicken, this would be much better. You know, give them some hot dogs. Give them some steak sandwiches. Instead of beer, give them the Pepsi, the Coke. Coca-Cola I'm talking about. I don't mean the drug. You know, Coca-Cola... Pepsi, maybe some RC cola, maybe some generic store bought cola. Now they have this Pepsi Next. That'll be good for them. Well, Pepsi Max. I'm not really into Coca Cola Zero. They say it's Coca Cola taste. That's just glorified Diet Coke. Well, I, the thing about it is. A lot of things are happening with the Red Sox because Bobby Valentine does not want to face reality and don't want what the fans want him to have. Give, give the Red Sox their fried chicken. Give them some hot dogs. Or give them a nice protein salad. Teen salad. But... I agree with the beer. They should not have beer. One day, Josh Beckett is going to have alcohol with, I mean, beer withdrawals because Bobby Valentine will let him drink his suds. Bobby Valentine should mind his own business and let the players eat and drink what they want because the thing about it is 
Bobby Valentine is mostly a New York person. He's not a Yankee. Yankees stink. But the purpose of this is that Bobby Valentine should should give fans what they want. Not and when the Red Sox hired Ben Chanington to be the GM, that was the worst idea ever. They should have negotiated to keep Theo Epstein in the office. No, they should have kept Theo Epstein in the office. It's ridiculous. You know that Poppy, Poppy is going to be leaving soon, and that sucks. Only if the Red Sox can keep one part of the Mount Rushmore and Boston sports in, the ta in town, that will be good. When I talk about the Mount Rushmore of sports in Boston, I'm talking about four people. Tim Thomas, David Ortiz, Paul Pierce, and Tom Brady. We're going to find a way to keep Tom Brady for a while. We got to keep Ortiz no matter what. They got to keep Ortiz no matter what. Um, we got to find a way to keep Tim Thomas in the Bruins. And um, Paul Pierce, we have to give him a good deal. We want to keep Paul Pierce for a while. Long time. Why keep the Mount Rushmore of Boston sports alive? Then you have my Mount Rushmore of music. Kiss, Queen, Abba, Nightwish, and Morty. You know, you got Kiss, the hottest band in the world. Then you have the most... You all those five are the highest bands in the world. You know, Kiss with Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, Ace Frehley, Peter Chris, Bruce Kulick, Eric Singer, Tommy Thayer, Eric Carr. I'm not getting into Vinnie Vincent. No way. Also, you also have Queen with Freddie Mercury. John Deacon, Brian May, and Roger Taylor. Those are, that is good music. Queen, Queen and Kiss. Then you got Abba. You got Anyetta. You got Frida. You got Bjorn and Benny. You know, I I have the movie Mamma Mia at home. That is a good musical, Mamma Mia. And I'm hoping that. Abba makes a comeback for maybe for one night only. You know, one night only, and put on pay per view and all that. That would be good. Then you have, lo and behold, behold, Nightwish, one of the gods of power metal. The Pal Metal with the songs Wish I Have an Angel, Tenth Man Down, Amaranth, Over the Hills and Far Away. Um, their lead singer, Tarana, Tara, Taraha, um, does a good Phantom of the Opera song. But Nightwish is a good band. You know, the Nightwish can always enjoy a nice world with the power metal. Then you have the Monsters of Rock, Gordy. You know, they, they look devilish, but they're really peaceful. They are shock rock to the value point. I'm not into the devil and all that, but these guys are good. You know, this is heavy metal, hard rock, hallelujah, blood red sandman, the devil is a loser. It snows in hell. But, thing about it is, 
I have a thing with a lot of things. But, lo and behold, everything goes to the right place. Ah, uh, let me think. Oh, yes. Madonna wants to date Victor Cruz. Oh, yeah, McDonald's need Victor Cruz and do the salsa. I know Alex Rodriguez is still buying purses left and right. You know, Alex Rodriguez buying purses. But they're not for Tori Wilson, his girlfriend. They're for himself. You know, every time he's in a bad mood, he wears to buy a purse. They, they try to raise his contract, but... All of this is, is a power play. Give Alex Rodriguez a diamond-studded purse. That will shut him up. Um, things are what they seem. Um, we have a lot of problems here where I live. Um, traffic's going to be rough because... They're building a Walgreens and condos in a certain area right near my home in this apartment. And the problem is traffic. Is traffic is going to be Hades. Traffic's going to be hell. You know, I can't believe they strong-armed one of my fellow city councilors to get what they want. I didn't like it. Even the city manager was in on it, trying to strong arm my favorite city council person. Every, but the problem is, everything doesn't go our way all the time. I know it doesn't go, you know, like, everything doesn't go my way anytime most times. Sometimes it goes my way, sometimes it doesn't. But everything comes to the way of things. So I know what is right and wrong. But people don't understand what is going on. These are my words of wisdom. These are what I have to say. That's all I have to say. Thank you.